All right, I'm about to put a throttle body gasket in big blue. Uh, the gasket went out before. It's gonna need some valve cover gaskets also. Maybe even an uh, intake manifold gasket. Oh, it was, look at that, see? Just by looking, you could find stuff. It's blowing the PCV valve out. You know what? It's probably time for a new PCV valve. That's, that came up a lot, and I'm seeing a lot of oil. So that could be pressure in the crankcase. All right, so before we replace the valve cover gasket and intake manifold gasket, we're going to replace the PVC valve. Maybe that might stop that. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're replacing the uh, throttle body gasket. The previous one, the original one, that came on the truck when it was brand new in 1995, it, uh piece of it had blown out, and I didn't know it. I thought it was an issue with the idle control valve on the throttle body. So I actually replaced the throttle body with a used one. And in the process, I realized the gasket was bad. Piece of the gasket that came out, that's why it was idling high. So I made a gasket. I don't know if you can see the edge of it right there. I made a gasket out of the gasket material. And it worked. That that fixed the problem. And it worked for, for a number of years. It worked for a long time. And uh, it just started doing that weird idling again. So I'm um, thinking it's a, uh, it needs an, another uh, throttle body gasket. And this one is nice and thick. It's not like the, the paper that I used. The paper that I used was much, much thinner. So we're going to pop this in and see if that cures the problem, the high idle. Next to a carburetor, this is one of the easiest fuel delivery systems uh, to work on. You just disconnect the throttle cable, the kick down cable. Uh, you got the PCV vet off, uh, holes disconnect, and vacuum, vacuum, another vacuum back here. That one right there. Pop that off. Then you got your fuel supply and return, the big metal lines. Your idle control valve. And uh, this thing, I think that's a, yeah, that's a throttle position sensor. And then you got your three bolts. It's the, the studs that hold the, the uh, air filter assembly. There's one, it's actually bolts also. So that, that, and that right there, and it lifts off. All right, so. The studs are out, bolt is out, everything is disconnected, fuel lines are disconnected, so it, it should just lift off. And that's it. it. Says it right there. TBI, throttle body injection. That's the gasket that I made. I'm trying to see if I see, I think I see where air was getting in right by the single stud right there. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old gasket, get the uh, replacement on there, and see what happens. All right, I cleaned the uh, intake manifold mating surface for the throttle body. Clean that up good. And I just sprayed down the throttle body. That's the old gasket that I made. And that's the maintenance surface. I'm gonna just wipe it off. Again, I already sprayed it. And we're about to lay the new gasket on there. No silicone or anything, just lay it on the top. They got this from Napa. They're the only ones that had it in stock. Everywhere else had to order it. And even the Napas that didn't have it they could have gotten it in like 30 minutes. But luckily, I have a huge Napa uh, warehouse in the city. And uh, it's 30 minutes from my closest Napa. So uh, anything I need, if they don't have it in stock, they could have someone come out from the warehouse 30 minutes. Usually 30 minutes, I got it. As simple as that, just lay the new gasket on there. You're going to rest the throttle body 
on top of it and just spin in your studs and your bolt and just installation is reverse of all uh, removal and again i gotta run into town and get a uh, a replacement elbow i may have one in my box of odds and ends but if not i'll just run into town and grab one That sounds so much better. I'm gonna let the engine get up to uh, operating temperature and we'll see uh, if the RPMs drop like it's supposed to. Yeah, I think that did it. It sounds, oh, it's not fully warmed up, but it sounds so much better. See, before what it would do, it, it would hunt. It would go way up, then drop way down, up, down, up, down. This sounds consistent, smooth. I think that did it, but we'll see. All right, that's it. It's fixed. Problem solved. Nice, smooth idle. Problem is solved. And you know what? The computer, although this is an OBD-1 system, because it's a 1995, well, the late model 1995s have the OBD-2. This is a full-fledged OBD-1. And the computer picked up on the issue before I did. Because I didn't pick up on it until well after the check engine light came on. I was like, what the hell? And uh, so I did a service on it. Usually on OBD-1s and some OBD-2s, when the check engine light comes on, it means uh, it needs some service. So new plugs, all that good stuff. I never thought it would have been the intake gasket until it started doing that on uh, that surging thing. But that problem's fixed.